Greetings, beloved ones. Beloveds, there is a gift that has been bestowed upon all beings, and that is the guardian of what is known as the Holy Spirit. Many refer to this as the higher self. This was meant to be the guardian, the companion in this journey of what it is to experience both the light and the shadow. And what has occurred was something that was quite unexpected, which is that many have taken their enjoyment and their indulgence of what is the shadow aspect. And out of it has, born, has been born this shadow side of Holy Spirit, which has been relegated to what has been commonly called the egoic self. It is the one that wreaks havoc. It is the one that will cause you to think the most frightening thoughts, to invite in the most terrifying of experiences. And then rather than allowing oneself to have this energy transmute through, one polarizes, one freezes the moment and say, says to oneself, I cannot experience this, I must not, I will not, for this is terrifying. And then there is much that has ensued that looks like chaos. But beloveds, what we want you to understand is that through all of this, always, there is the very truth of love. And it is the great eraser. It is the great elixir. For as soon as you touch the darkness with any light, it dissipates. It is the way out. It is the way back. It is the way through. And indeed, you will come to find that you have never left. You have never gone as far as you have believed or thought or felt that you have. And it is so much easier than you think to allow yourself to return. Part of what the egoic mind has done is allowed you to think that the answers and the solutions exist without you. If I only have this much money, if I only have this certain relationship, I, if I only am able to accomplish this, if my body, some part of the body can look a certain way, then I will be the perfect man, the perfect woman, the perfect human. Beloveds, when you go within and you find the light, you will understand that that perfection that you seek, that you think is so necessary outside of you, already exists. So the encouragement, beloved ones, is to go within, develop the dialogue with your own soul self, re-engage the aspect of higher self, of Holy Spirit, of what was given to you to actually be your guide and bring yourself back to the truth. For that is where you shall find your salvation. That is where you will find this version of the Christ of being that you are. And beloveds, there is no fault, there is no blame if you decide to continue to indulge yourselves in the shadow. Or ultimately, all return to the light. The choice is always yours. And that is the beauty and the use of what is known as free will. So indulge as long as you desire. And when you are ready to turn and to face the truth of you, know that there are countless beings that are here to guide you. Our love and our blessings go with you always, precious and beloved ones. We love you. And yes, we will speak with you again. Greetings and salutations.